Tech for Society is about inventor entrepreneurs, and it's about this new class of individuals that we are trying to recognize and um, bring public awareness to who are working in a different way. Entrepreneurs are unique. Everyone else is satisfied short of changing the whole society, but entrepreneurs will never be happy until the whole society has changed. Inventor entrepreneurs are the change makers in society. I think they're the individuals who look at the world and say the world could be better. And they have a mindset um, and a self-determination, I think, that is unique to, to inventor entrepreneurs, which is that they believe that they can actually affect change that will improve their community, improve their nation, improve the world. Our mission is to spark curiosity, because we believe curiosity is the foundation of creativity and innovation. Garbage, the waste is a problem for many people, but for us it's an opportunity. That is aimed at empowerment of persons with disabilities. To help girls who are poor to be able to afford sanitary pads so that they can keep in school. Opening access for the poorest community in rural area to have electricity. Every social entrepreneur is a mass multiplier of local change makers. And that's the future of the world. If we're going to be in everyone a change maker world, people have to become change makers. I'm inventing for appropriate technologies for rural people. Technologies that will kickstart them and help them leapfrog in their lives from their present state to another level, a higher level. The importance of invention or the main thing of the invention is not the person that have a, an idea. When you take people who are working on a common problem or a common approach, invention. The invention is only one part of the solution to a problem. Why do some of these inventions or technologies uh, that's so full of promise and potential, why don't they really scale? When you get 100 of them, 200 of them, what are the patterns? Accessibility is key. You need to be able to develop a technology that people can have in their everyday lives. And when you find someone with brilliant ideas, but we need to connect them with the resources. Something that they can understand, something that they can use and share with other people, because that brings everyone together and it meets a basic need. It's great to be here, you know, um, this opportunity provided by Ashoka and Lemelson. Um, getting to meet a lot of people, you know, getting to know how they have, uh, s you know, found solutions to certain challenges. It's a very necessary for us to create trust because trust is how the cooperation begins. And uh, getting to network with, you know, like minds and people who are doing their bit to make our world a better place. If you find a fellow. Even if you just say hello, you know that that fellow, because you know how, how it was for you and how they choose you, and, and you really, you trust it right away. For me, one of the be best uh, things I have from Ashuka is the networking. I'm so glad to be here because I'm every, every minute I'm meeting more people who are doing other things. And uh, to know that you are not alone, uh, that you have a lot of similar people like you. Some people doing water. Either in Latin America or the States. Others are doing uh, refrigeration. So uh, in India and Japan, Indonesia, Africa. You're out working in Nairobi, and I'm, you know, I'm working in Guatemala, and working in India, and you're, you've got your head down and you're doing your thing. Um, and then to be able to come together with people who share the same challenges um, and the same goals and objectives and be able to exchange best practices and learn from each other and learn that our challenges and, and the needs that we're trying to address are unfortunately universal. 
It's pretty easy to be overwhelmed by the scale of the different kinds of activities that are here. If you were to just read this or look it up on a web page to try to go from the solid waste management to training rats to sniff out landmines to mobile telephony. Yeah. But if you can actually sit and have these conversations in person, you can process a lot more of it. And you can begin to see the things that connect it, which is primarily, I think, the focus on the beneficiaries and the focus on the social aspects of the enterprise. I think it took a very short time for the, the entire group to realize mm. that this is going to be a real learning process right. where I have a small piece of the solution, but then right. I better listen to the other people because they might have a, you know, of a piece that I need. You can't uh, overemphasize the value of meeting face-to-face, -face, being able to sit down with someone and really understand what they do and help them to get a better understanding of what you do and search for ways to collaborate and create leverage. Uh, is really is, is, is fundamental and it's, and it's one of the real um, keys to success, I think, of these types of meetings. And after the session in the evening, the African team from seven countries met yesterday and it was amazing what we came up with. You know, Africans without border. Conferences like this that bring ev brings ev everybody together in the same roof for three days, incredibly valuable in terms of for for forging those kinds of networks and having the right dialogue. We can do a lot as societies to create the kind of enabling environment and the educational environment that will build more inventor entrepreneurs. That's what this meeting is about. It's a partnership between Lemelson, knowing that invention is really important, but recognizing that the broader dimensions of entrepreneurship are critical for invention to be success. Now the two need one another more and more. And so what we're about here is the highest leverage element in invention. How do you take into account all the pieces so that entrepreneurship is leveraged by invention at every step and invention is useful because it's tied to the universal perspective of the entrepreneur. So I think that's the ultimate invention.